Hello, welcome to Inside Track. I'm Art Fox. And I'm Kay Christ. This month, the star of Inside Track is Geo Metro. We'll find out just what makes this affordable, efficient performer such a great value. And then we'll head to the Cami Assembly Plant in Ingersoll, Ontario, Canada to get the story on Metro quality. And to learn more about what's going on in the Metro marketplace, we'll check out Toyota and Ford dealerships to see how they sell Tercel and Festiva against the Metro. You'll find a number of great ideas and sales techniques in this issue of Inside Track. Also, review your 92 Geo product training video and selling guide to be sure you've got all the details on your 92 Metro. Now, for the latest on what's going on in the Chevrolet family, let's go to Headlines in the News. Activities for Winning Edge 93 are kicking off this month with a special Demonstrate Your Edge contest. It's a great opportunity to showcase your best ideas on ways to demonstrate specific vehicle features and benefits and win cash. Contest information was mailed out early this month. If you didn't receive it or have any questions, please contact program headquarters. We interrupt this program for a special conversation with Lou Elbert on the 1993 PRISM launch. Uh, well, what's new for GEO is, the, of course, the PRISM. And I mean not only new, but all new. Uh, and I think in terms of salespeople out there, i got to tell you, it's a sleeper. Uh, not because I'm involved in it necessarily, uh, I, but in the clinics we've run, not only with customers, more importantly and more critically is with press people out there and even with in places like Chicago and Denver where we've had a chance to take it right to dealerships and have salespeople drive it and react to it and and pick it apart etc all the feedback they're telling they're giving us says that we've got it, it, let's call it a sleeper let's call it a real potential for success in 1993 I really liked it a lot I think a lot of female drivers are gonna like it too I like the round design and uh, I thought the interior was very nice it's it's a very handsome shape and uh, it has sophistication to, to at, at least equal uh, other cars in its market segment. I, th I think it'll do very well. All of the various things that we look for to make it a great car have gotten fixed. For example, the longer wheelbase, which gives it a much easier ride and handling. It gives it a much more quieter uh, uh, ride. Then comes a sound deadening package on the cars that's next unbelievable. Uh, the uh, airbag, ABS, a great new look, all the various things that we were looking for in a car to make it great and, it, and, and just, let's say, put a Chevrolet touch on it uh, because it is completely different than its twin, uh, the, the uh, a Corolla that's made in the same plant, I think is going gonna, is gonna to work for us. Uh, it's definitely not a reskin. Uh, but on the other hand, you wouldn't say that it's a, a clean sheet of paper as we, on some of the cars we've done in the past. Uh, the, the point, though, is essentially if you take a car where you change the entire exterior, the entire interior, you change the drivetrain, you change the wheelbase, in essence, uh, it's certainly almost a clean sheet of paper, and yet what we were really trying to do was simply improve on the current car. So technically, it's neither one nor the other. Uh, maybe the easy way to do it would just be to use the format that we've been using in our training, the SPACE format. Uh, first of all, in terms of safety, uh, it's got an, air, an airbag, and an airbag that's positioned in the steering wheel whereby the horn can be pushed from anywhere, unlike you know, a lot of the other ones. Secondly, it's got ABS-6 uh, as optional equipment. Uh, in terms of performance, it's got the 1.6 uh, engine has been uh, refined so that there's a lot more low-end torque, plus there's a 1.8 optional that uh, is an excellent engine. In terms of appearance, maybe the best thing to do is just simply let the camera span this little sweetheart I've driven here today. I think most salespeople are saying that with the lines and the paint job, the, just the looks of the car, it looks like a little luxury car. And I think that's what our customers are going to say, too. There's a new sound system. The seats are more comfortable. They're, and then you pull that all together with a dash that just about everybody knows is when they get in is a dash that works. Uh, we've got a nice package here. And finally, easy to own. Um, fortunately, it's already got a good quality reputation. Uh, we've got a lot of things in place whereby the startup of this car comes right out as quality and we can be relatively assured of that. Uh, the warranty, the roadside assistance, and finally everybody's going to ask about the price. Obviously on a car like this, the price analysis of where we're, it's going to be priced, et cetera, is probably about two months away. Uh, but on the other hand, please remember, on a car in this market where price is so sensitive, especially versus competitors, we're going to be there.
there's probably two key pieces to it that we want to make sure everybody knows. The first one is that we are, we are repositioning and recontenting the two models, BASE and LSI, to line up directly with how our competitors line up their model strategies. Secondly, the, the step from BASE to LSI needs to be a very logical one and one that gives us a higher volume uh, in, the, in that model. So for example, when they move to LSI, they'll be getting just to name a few, they're going to get an upgraded interior, an upgraded wheel cover, a split folding rear seat, a tilt wheel, things that just bring the car up to a, a, a logical next step without putting a lot of other options on it, which can be put on or not put on, that's up to them. Fortunately, the ramp up is going smooth. We expect that with the car starting production in late August, we'll be up to full availability uh, by, by probably late October. Uh, and as a result, we'll be ordering the quantities to at least get that, uh, get that pipeline started uh, between the information that's in the ordering guide, plus hopefully the information here and any late-breaking information that can be provided by the marketing center, we should be in a good position to get it rolling. Well, the car starts into production in late part of August, and we're timing the wave of training materials and other information materials that you'll need to, to successfully sell the car to correspond with that time frame. And that'll, then that'll roll through September, we, announcement day is, is late September, uh, right on through to a winning age 93 event, not unlike the ones we had last year, where salespeople will get a chance to, to ride and drive the car, as well as, as see customers and salespeople from all over America who, uh, who come into NUMI this summer and put the car through its paces and evaluate the best ways to sell and feature the, the outstanding characteristics of this car. Uh, just two things. First of all, I want everybody out there to know that the launch of this car has come together very well and that this car truly is a key part of our winning edge for 1993. And secondly, I want everybody out there to at least suspect that what we've got here is a real sleeper. And if so, remember, you heard it here first. There's good news for Caprice in the latest J.D. Power initial quality survey. J.D. Power ranked Caprice best in class with a problems per hundred cars rating of 110, well below the industry average of 125. Caprice beats out top competitors like Ford Crown Victoria with 120 and Mercury Grand Marquis with 118. And don't forget, the restyled 1993 Caprice is just around the corner. The 93 Caprice will feature several styling changes made as a direct result of consumer input. In addition to the restyling, you'll be able to provide your prospects with reinstated PEG discount packages on the 93 Caprice this fall. The bottom line is, you'll be able to provide your customers with a well-equipped 93 Caprice for under $20,000. Back in 1969, GM introduced the first infant safety seat to restrain and help protect infants and young children in an accident. Today, many states require infant safety seats, and several manufacturers offer them at retail. To properly secure some of these safety seats, some of your customers may find that they need additional webbing on the safety belt. So be sure to let your customers know that you can special order a personalized, custom-made safety belt extension free of charge directly through your parts department. It's just one of Chevrolet's many exclusive features that adds up to real value for your customers. When it comes to value, your 92 Geo Metro really shines. With its impressive list of safety, performance, appearance, comfort and convenience, and easy-to-own features, combined with an easy-on-the-pocketbook price, your 92 Metro is not only a pleasure to drive, it's a pleasure to own. Let's take a closer look now at some of the features that make your 92 Metro exceptional in its class. The visibility on the Metro is really great. You can see out of every window, um, the windows are very large and you can um, really get a great view of the road. It's really important for the driver of a small car so that they can see everything around them. The designers and engineers paid special attention to this when the Geo Metro was engineered. As you can see, we paid considerable effort to have a gentle, low sloping hood line coupled with a low cowl. This not only provided improved aerodynamics, but also allows for a very large windshield, which provides a very good field of view all the way around the vehicle. And for those areas you might not be able to see, the right-hand mirror is standard on the Metro, where it's an optional feature on the Tercel. 
GeoMetro features a standard three-point door-mounted belt system. A unique feature of this design is a door interlock feature, where a hook mounted on the outer door mates in a receptacle on the B pillar. Essentially, this hook ties the door frame to the B pillar. This maintains the integrity of the safety cage in the event of an accident. The way the brake transmission uh, shift interlock system works is in order to get the vehicle out of park, you have to have your foot on the brake. Once your foot is on the brake, the vehicle will put, be able to be put into gear. Now the benefit of this is it's going to protect against acceleration off the start when you're not ready for it. Another benefit that you're going to be able to incur is if you should ever have a child riding in the front seat and they bend down to put the vehicle into gear, they will not be able to do it unless their foot is on the brake pedal. The Metro features a self-aligning steering wheel which works in conjunction with the energy absorbing steering column. In the event of an accident where the occupant comes in contact with the steering wheel, the steering wheel aligns itself to be parallel with the occupant's chest. This allows the ride down forces to be distributed evenly over the occupant's chest and abdomen. This feature works in conjunction with the energy absorbing steering column which absorbs the energy of the crash. The side guard door beam is going to be a beam on the passenger side as well as the driver's side door that is going to give the customer extra protection from a side end collision. You notice how tough and sturdy the door is. That's going to give the customer extra protection. If they have more protection on the side, they're going to feel a lot more safer in the car. Under the hood, in addition to the crumple zones, there are two safety hooks, one on either side. In the event of an accident, these hooks help prevent the hood from contacting the windshield. These Metro buyers are really trading off the safety of buying a larger uh, used car to purchase a brand new smaller car. One thing that uh, the salespeople might keep in mind is that the Metro meets all of GM safety standards and GM safety standards generally exceed the federal requirements. The engine is a one liter, three cylinder engine that generates 55 horsepower and 58 pounds of torque. The one liter engine is highly efficient. One measure of an engine's efficiency is specific horsepower. That would be the horsepower of the engine divided by the displacement in liters. The one liter Metro engine has a specific horsepower of 55, which is higher than the, either of the engines used on the Toyota Tercel or the Ford Festiva. You can't overlook the gas mileage. The vehicle gets better gas mileage than any other vehicle in its class. On the XFI model, you get 53 miles of the city, uh, and you get 58 miles per gallon on the highway. Uh, that's unheard of in its class. It's almost 15 miles more per gallon than any other car out there. Four factors contribute to Metro's excellent fuel economy. First is the excellent vehicle aerodynamics. Secondly is the vehicle's low mass. The Metro weighs less than 2,500 pounds. Third is the engine efficiency. And fourth is the low rolling resistance of the tires. It handles and behaves very much like a full-size vehicle, and that's achieved through a four-way independent suspension. You have McPherson strut suspension in the front and the rear. With the independent suspension, each wheel is going to carry itself individually over the bumps. So each wheel will pick up the result of the bump and you won't feel it in the cabin. It provides for a much smoother ride. Parking is a breeze in this car. I love it. Um, anywhere I go, if it's tight fitting, especially at night when we go out at night, I always feel like I can park as close as, as possible because it's such a small car. The tires on the Geo Metro are specifically engineered to meet GM's stringent tire performance criteria, known as TPC. In fact, the TPC number is stamped on each tire. This assures that the tire meets handling, performance, and rolling resistance objectives. A number of corrosion features are included in each Geo Metro. Two-sided galvanized steel is used on all major body panels. In addition, the entire body goes through an elbow dip process. This provides additional corrosion protection. After the vehicle is entirely assembled, an underbody anti-corrosion wax is applied. Also, the Metro features plastic fender liners to reduce the effects of stone chipping. The anti-chip coating is located here along the lower body panels, and that helps keep the body protected from any kind of stone chips or anything flying up. Helps keep your, your paint looking nice longer. 
GeoMetro features standard black body side moldings and black front and rear bumpers. Surveys of customers indicate that they like the perceived ruggedness and durability of black fascias. What that's going to do for you is if somebody should bump into the vehicle and put a deep scratch into it, it's going to be black all the way through. So you won't have to worry about touching the, the bumper up because you won't even be able to tell that there's a scratch in it. The first time I saw this car, I was on the expressway with the top down, and it, it looked bigger on the inside than it actually the body looks on the outside. So that was one of my things that pulled me towards this car, is that it was larger on the inside than it actually looks. The Geo Metro has more front leg room than either the Ford Festiva or the Toyota Tercel. One of the particular things that I like about the Metro when I sit behind the wheel, the dashboard is canted towards you, and everything is clearly visible. Your gas gauge, your odometer reading, it's all clearly visible, your water temperature. I like the way that everything is right at my fingertips. Um, it's what they call ergonomics, and what that is, is it's designed so everything is right at your fingertips. You don't ever have to have your hands leave the wheel. The passenger seat has an easy entry feature that makes it really simple to get in and out of the back seat. It would be a lot harder to get in and out of the car without this feature. In a Metro, you're going to be sitting on fabric. Unlike the vinyl you'd find in a base Tercel, this is going to be much more comfortable regardless of the temperature outside. The fabric on the Metro seat is also covered by Scotchgard, so that will help with the durability of the fabric as well. With the cargo area on the Metro, it's going to give you 10.2 cubic feet of space in the rear. The cargo area is also going to be fully carpeted, which is going to give you a quieter ride. Now with the seat folded down, it's going to give you 21.8 cubic feet of space, which is going to allow you to put just about anything you need in the cargo area. Inside the Metro are a lot of comfort and convenience features that a lot of customers really like. Um, for example, the mat pockets in the doors, um, delay wipers are a standard feature. Um, what's super is this cup holder to hold your drinks. Another really great feature is the headlamp on reminder tone and also the ignition reminder tone to help you remember to turn your lights off and take your key out. Just makes a little noise like that. They're looking for economics, uh, they're looking for reliability, and they're looking for safety. And the Metro very easily takes care of all three categories. Uh, they're a fun car to drive and very affordable, and even maintaining the vehicle is uh, very, very inexpensive. With a small engine compartment, it makes it easy to reach all of the underhood service areas. Most of the service areas are located on this side of the vehicle. For example, the windshield washer fill, the coolant fill, the eye to check the status of the battery, and all your underhood relays and fuses are located in an easy to access relay center. The brake fluid reservoir has a clear bottle so that it's easy to see if it has proper fill. Metro buyers tend to be very budget conscious and they're really looking for a good value in what they're going to buy. So your ability to show them uh, the warranty, the low operating costs, and the low maintenance costs that are inherent in the Metro will help convince them that it's the right car for them. I love it. I came from a foreign car, so this is my first American car that I've ever had, so I love it. The people who buy Metro start out looking for something affordable and economical and come away applauding its roomy interior, outstanding value, and low ownership costs. As price-conscious buyers, your Metro customers want a vehicle they can depend on day after day. To help you sell Metro's dependability and quality, we went to the Cami assembly plant in Ingersoll, Ontario, Canada. Cami um, is a joint venture that was formed between Suzuki and General Motors and basically started production back in 1989. We build the uh, Geo Metro and the Geo Tracker. The plant, Cami, if you will, is a unique plant compared to a lot of the other uh, facilities that build GM products. They're very much uh, on the cutting edge of what assembly plants uh, around the world are doing. To give you a little bit of a description of the plant, uh, we have a contiguous stamping plant here where we stamp all of our major body panels. And we do that on three major press lines. Uh, from there, 
Our parts go directly into the body shop and we have very little inventory and in processed by having a contiguous stamping plant. Uh, in the weld shop, we have a lot of automation, uh, approximately 500 Fanuc robots. Uh, it's single station framing, very much uh, state of the art process, very good for dimensional control, and uh, really one of the truly up to date modern body shops. The weld shop material handling handle all the parts from stamping are brought to the lines. The lines, as you can see, are on the metro side are about 92% totally automated. We have a lot of robotics and so on. We have a very flexible system here right now. The production associates here are more involved in the quality end of it. They load parts, do a lot of checking for quality. Um, because they're working with the product, they see the problems, they see the faults and so on, we encourage them to bring the quality problems to us. Our instruction to everybody is do not ship a defect. Fix it before you ship it. And always consider paint as your customer. We receive the, our bodies from the welding shop, then we go through a phosphate process and an eco process, which is the corrosion resistant process in the paint shop. Then the, the body is baked, and after that we apply a sealer material to the body hems and any large gaps prevent water leaks and for corrosion again. After that process we apply an underbody coating. It's a PVC type material. It both serves as a, again a corrosion resistant layer and also for a sound dending purposes. And then we apply a color key primer before we apply our final finish. In the final finish we apply a base coat clear coat. The base coat is applied in two stages and then we apply a one-stage clear coat. The clear coat designed to, for an acid resistance and give us a nice finish. I work in the final inspection area. We check the cars out and uh, we uh, inspect the vehicles, finesse them out so that we can produce the number one quality in the automotive industry. Um, what we do in polishing is we eliminate any squirrel problems that uh, the customer might, might find on the vehicle and uh, we work very, very well together as a uh, team. We've got an excellent paint job on these vehicles and it's our goal in assembly to protect them. What we're doing is we're protecting the vehicle in many ways. One of the ways is we do doors off assembly. Right at the beginning of the process, the doors are removed and sent overhead and built entirely up on a separate assembly line and at the absolute end of the process and the doors are returned to the vehicle item in sequence and they're reinstalled. That does several things for you. It protects the doors through the process. The doors aren't open and dragging through the whole system, so the doors don't get any mutilation. And secondly, it allows the operator the freedom to move and to work inside the vehicle without the obstruction of the door and do his internal work. So that way we protect the rest of the vehicle as well. And we protect the fender of the vehicle as well from people leaning on the vehicle, etc. The whole CAMI manufacturing system and the whole CAMI way of, of building the car is conducive to quality. For example, we work on an Andon system, which is an Andon board which identifies for the team leader who is responsible for the team any quality problem. If a PA has a problem during the build, he can pull the red cord which will signal to the team leader that he's got trouble and within one pitch or one build the line will stop until, he, until it's resolved. One of the other things that we do in CAMI, which is unique to CAMI, is called the Quality Circle Program. Our employees are encouraged to participate in quality circles on their own time to resolve a quality issue. Now, there are some incentives and some awards, but the whole real idea here is the person who's going to solve the quality problem is the person who's working and living with it every day. For instance, we came up with this. It's a little door protector. What we were doing before we had these, bringing the door in, we were hitting the the hinge here. So we had a QC circle and brought up the idea that we've come up with this little plastic guard that would protect the, the hinges from hitting and causing paint chips. Uh, so we got together, figured out what we could do, had a bunch of suggestions and uh, we decided to pick out the best one and uh, this is what we've come up with. We feel good about Cami. Cami uh, is a lot of hard-working people uh, 2,300 or so hourly people work here, and it's a good running operation. Quality is uh, primary focus here, and I'm 
hope that that shows up in our products out in the field. When you add it all up, your Geo Metro offers quality, dependability, and value in a highly efficient package. With quality and efficiency as our major focus, we began our mystery shopping this month in Ford dealerships to see how they're selling Festiva against Metro's three-cylinder engine that delivers such outstanding fuel economy. Uh, the Metro is only a three-cylinder, this is a four. Power-wise, you get all kinds of get up and go, let you drive the car. The little car gets out and goes, and then it gets really good gas balance, 31 and 33. Yeah. That's not nearly as good as what the well, Metro has. Metro has the three-cylinder engine. On a three, you're on a three-cylinder engine. They evaded the question of fuel economy entirely, and not one Ford salesperson even tried to explain just what was so great about that extra cylinder on the Festiva. And when we shopped Toyota stores, we had a similar experience. It's only a little three-cylinder. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed pretty peppy, though. Yeah, well, it, it's peppy. It. It's peppy. But it doesn't compare with their four-cylinder. Now, the Metro, is that a three-cylinder? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not quite got the power that this car's going to have. I know it's going to get a little bit better fuel economy, but these get real good fuel economy. Remember what Tom Klingler said earlier? When you compare Metro's engine with the Festiva and Tercel in terms of efficiency, Metro comes out on top. And when you're talking fuel economy, there's really no comparison. Your Geo Metro's a clear winner. For people in this market, fuel economy is a major concern, so it's important to point out Metro's fuel economy advantage. But don't stop there. Show your customers just what kind of money they can save or spend on other things. When it comes to built-in value for the standard price, Metro really stands out. No one else in this class offers so many up-level features as standard equipment, all at an entry-level price. Ford and Toyota salespeople made the mistake of assuming that our major concern was the initial purchase price. And that's where you've got a clear-cut advantage, because there's so much more to the Metro story. Features like the self-aligning steering wheel, four-wheel independent suspension, intermittent wipers, cup holders, driver's side map pocket, dual outside rear view mirrors, full wheel covers, and Scotchgard fabric protection. Features like these mean a lot to your Metro customers, particularly because for many of them, this is their first new car. That's right. And demonstrating features and benefits is going to put you 10 steps ahead of your competitors. Out of eight salespeople we shopped on this trip, only one bothered to actually show us any features on the car. They talked plenty about price and warranty and resale value, but we never really found out just what we would be getting for our money. So take advantage of this weak spot in your competition. Take the time to demonstrate Metro's features and benefits. Get your customers in the Metro. Have them drive it and show them the value and quality that's built into every Metro. Because the fact is, You've got the competition beat. I just can't touch 88 on automatic and air. There's no way. I can discount my car for you, okay? If I could, I'd sure be happy to say I could, but I know that I can't. That just about wraps up this edition of Inside Track. Before we sign off, we'd like to congratulate last month's winners in our prize giveaway. Al Alberts of Bob McGuire Chevrolet in Bordentown, New Jersey, and Steve Caldwell of Trader Chevrolet Geo, Greensboro, North Carolina, are just two of the 200 Chevrolet Geo sales managers who won compact discs in our most recent prize drawing. And Keith Lytle of McClinton Chevrolet in Parkersburg, West Virginia, won the grand prize, a Sony 20-inch TV. Inside Track is taking a summer break, so this is the last edition for the 1992 model year. Now, believe it or not, September is just around the corner, and there's a lot going on that month. Keep an eye out for your 93 product training packages and get ready to experience Winning Edge 93. And don't forget, September marks the launch of your all-new Geo Prism. In November, Inside Track returns to bring you the latest news on what's happening in the marketplace and give you a close-up look at your 1993 Chevrolets and Geos and their key competitive advantages. Until then, be sure you let us know what you think about Inside Track. Fill out the response card in the videotape package and drop it in the mail. Your card automatically enters you in our Inside Track prize giveaway. If you prefer, you can write to Inside Track, Chevrolet Motor Division, Post Office Box 9065, Warren, Michigan, 4890-9065. Thanks for joining us. See you in the fall. <laughs>